what's going on guys it's tox back with the video um today we're going to be taking a look at the email sign up like pop up um if you have plain jane light 1.4 and up this is a feature that you'll have access to um if you don't have this feature it means that you need to update your theme all right so the way that our theme updates usually work is um when we have something new to share with with everyone we do a mass email blast and um it, it would have the download link in there just and it'll, it'll work the same way um, as if you were you were um, purchasing and downloading the theme for the first time. You'll have you know up to you know one or two downloads, and um, the time is is limited. Um, I think maybe up to like a week or so. But for, for whatever reason, if you see that your download link isn't working, um, just reach out in the Discord, go to the custom request channel, and open up a ticket, and someone will be able to take care of you. Um, but I want to get into just this pop up uh, feature and just, you know, uh, show you guys the back end and how to customize things and um, the best way to test things also to test the, the look of it. So you, um, you know, have the best control over everything. Um, but before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, it would be much appreciated. And uh, let's get into it. All right, guys. Um, so uh this is the customizer um hopefully you're familiar with this by now um if you're new the best way to get here is just um you know look on the left hand side um a shopify hit online store and then hit the green customize button and you'll land here um so to get to the settings for the email pop-up right you need to go to this paintbrush icon here which is a uh, theme settings and any anything that uh is kind of present over the entire site or kind of affects things site wide, you're going to find that in the theme settings. If you want, if you want to control something on specific pages or whatever, then you're going to want to go to the sections setting here and then change the page. Um, so for this though, you'll find email pop up right here um, in theme settings under email pop up settings. So we're going to click that. Um, so here we have a pop up visibility. Um, disable email pop up is very self explanatory. If you check that, your pop up won't show. And we we allow this, you know, just in case you want to use a different, um, you know, email uh, uh, marketing tool. If you want to use Clavio or a Mailchimp or a MailerLite or um, anything like that, you don't want to use our um, email pop up. You can do that. Um, of course, the show logo is here. Um, you can put your logo here. If you don't put your logo, our default, uh, you know, plain Jane dummy Supreme logo will be there. You don't want that. So make sure you, you change this. Um, of course, background image, um, and then some other things. So let's take a look at how this looks right now in our current, um, store. So I'm going to go over to this tab here and this is basically how it looks. Okay. So, you know, with the background that's white, we have um, our image here, just some Travis Scott. Um, and then we have a little overlay and then you have your header, you have, uh, you know, the text that you want here and then the field to uh, to enter your email address. So all of this, all of this stuff here is customizable um, and I'll just alter everything here so you guys can just take a look. Um, but everything should be pretty self-explanatory. Again, you know, you have the header, email signup. Uh, uh, yeah, email signup examples, just what I wrote. Uh, we have description, success message, submit button text, and all this stuff is changeable. So let's just go through it and change some things here. Um, sign up. testing just to show you guys that that all works overlay this is the uh if we go back to our example the entire white background that's the overlay okay so when you alter that color you're altering the the background color that overlays everything so we just want to make this red for example we could do that um the pop-up background so this is where Travis Scott images, if we don't have an image there, then that uh, color is going to be what's what's taking the place um, of that image. So this will pop up background is for maybe we can play around with this. Maybe I'll make this black or something. 
and we'll play around with that. The pop-up border color, same thing, that, that same uh, where the Travis Scott image is. If you want to add a border here, you can. Um, we can change that, Let's show you guys how that looks. You just do, let's do a gray. So like gray. Uh, the pop-up exit button. So right now it's white, but let's let's make it a red so you can see the difference. Um, the pop-up inner background. So the inner background is where the text and everything is, where the form is. So right now it's set to black. Uh, we can easily change this to a white, but I'm just gonna leave that black for now, honestly. Is for simplicity. Um, let's see what else here. We have the pop-up header. So this is the the header text, which is right here. The email sign up example. This text right here. We have the description and the success message. This is very self-explanatory. Just really all the text here. Um, email input placeholder color. So before someone starts typing that's what this is so if you before someone starts typing if you want this to be black if you want to be red or whatever you can do that i just like you know it's like gray just because uh you know it's pretty standard you see that across most websites um but you can make that whatever you want um and then email input text color so when you actually start typing in the email box what's the color of what people are typing that's what this controls um let's make this a red just to have some fun okay and if, if you're wondering why nothing is changing um, as I'm flipping back and forth, it's because I haven't saved anything. This is my live site right now. So nothing is saved, which is why we're not seeing any results. But when we're done, I'm going to save everything and then you'll be able to, you know, see the night and day difference. Um, the submit button color. Uh, that's self-explanatory. We can change this to let's just make this a gray or whatever, and we can keep the, the text white. All right. Um, um, so for the submit button text color, we're just going to keep that the same. We're just keep it white. Um, and the final setting here is a pop up background opacity. So this is uh, let me show an example. So see how this black box isn't fully black. It's kind of like faded a little bit. That opacity slider affects this box here. So that's what that's all about. And I'm just going to leave that the same because I, I really like the, uh, the opacity here. I don't think it needs any changing. Um, but you guys can play around with this, you know, if you want. Um, all right, cool. So now we're going to save this and we're going to take a look at the changes. You save. And when testing this, um, to get the pop-up to show, the best way is to close whatever window that you're working out of and then just go back in a new tab. So make sure to, to open the live site again or your demo site, whatever, um, in a new tab each time. Um, that way it'll, it'll, the email um, pop-up will show. Use the same tab, we kind of keep track of um, you know, data in that way to make sure that we, we, that we don't keep sending the pop-up each time um, you know, people are going through the pages of the website. You just want to show it once. Um, the only way you can get it to show again is if you close the tab and then make a new tab and then go back to the website. So uh, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make a new tab, close this one. And wait for a pop up. And there we go. So all the changes that we made are here. Um, we have the red background um, kind of bleed into our logo, the, the same color. Um, we kept the image the same, but like the text is different. The, you know, the X button here is a different color. The sign up button, you know, is a different color. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's really about it when it comes to this pop up. Um, if we type in here, let's do test at Gmail and just hit sign up. We get a thank you, which is really nice. And you can put whatever message you want there, which is really cool. And um, if you're wondering, okay, so when my customers are signing up, where are all these emails going to? Like, how is this working? Um, so the emails, the way it works, give me one brief moment here.
each time when someone creates or puts their email is going to go to the customers section here. All right. So they'll pop up here and we'll say zero orders or whatever. Um, and you can export this list out just like that. You can do all customers or whatever page you want and then export that out and, and upload it to whatever um, platform that you use, whether it's Clavio, MailChimp, MailerLite or whatever. This is the best way to go about doing that and um, um, just extracting your 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 emails. Um, so that's about it, guys. If you guys have any other questions on anything at all, um, you know, make sure to leave a comment below. Um, if you have the theme um, and you're watching this, hopefully you're in the Discord. Um, we have some really great things planned for the Discord um, later this month. So you don't want to miss out on that. And if you don't have the theme, you know, I'd highly recommend getting it. Uh, you know, it's it's fully customizable. We, we put so much um, in this theme. And um, yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, you follow us um, on all our socials. It's openspaces.io on Instagram, openspaces.io on TikTok. Um, and same on, on Twitter. Pretty sure it's like underscore because we can't do dots over there. Um, but that's it, guys. Catch you all later. Peace.